This is Professor Thad Starner. Today we're going to talk about the oscilloscope we use for class. This is a relatively inexpensive oscilloscope, but it does a lot of things automatically for us and it's quite easy to use. First thing we notice about this oscilloscope is it's on button. It's down here. This is kind of an interesting instrument in that you push a button quickly for some functions and hold it down longer for other functions. The most things we're going to talk about today, you just tap it once and it's, and it's uh, set up. Now, there are two buttons on here that are very useful to know. The first one is the auto button. The auto button automatically tries to set up the oscilloscope to whatever, to, to whatever might be most useful. Um, so I'm going to keep it on auto now. Now, when it's on auto, it's got these bottom uh, scales uh, highlighted. We're going to use our, our um, circuit, our full wave rectifier from last class, to uh, show how we're going to use the oscilloscope. So I'm going to plug it in here. And you see how the system has automatically tried to zoom in on the signal. Now, since last time, I replaced our bigger uh, capacitor with a smaller one, so we'd actually get a lot of ripple in the si uh, signal coming out. So instead of getting a nice flat DC signal, we're getting a lot of ripple because the capacitor is not big enough to take the ripple out. Now, you can see that the system's automatically put us on two volts per division and one millisecond per division. That's very useful for us. Um, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to... Uh, it also has it on AC. That's what the little squiggle means here. If I put it on DC, uh, it actually shows uh, the voltage from ground from zero, uh, co uh, compares the, the voltage from zero. So now let me take a, a harder look at this. Make sure my capacitor is okay here. Um, we're now on eight volts per division uh, and five milliseconds per division. Uh, I don't want this thing to move very much, so I'm going to take it off of auto. Uh, and it's having a little bit of a hard time triggering. So maybe I will put it on AC after all. I'll put on AC and I'll, we'll keep on this for, for now. And um, I'm going to show you how to do a couple of things here. First of all, let's pull up the markers. So I hit that button once. Uh, now I can move both the top and bottom, the top marker here. So I can move it to the top of the wave. Then I push the marker again. And now I can move the bottom one up, up to, the, to the area here. And actually uh, measure uh, the amount of ripple we're seeing in the circuit, and here it's looking at about 7.3 volt ripple, which is actually quite a lot. Um, now, uh, I also can, can measure frequency with this. I'm going to push the marker again so I can get uh, to the, whoops, so I can get to the uh, first, first marker, and now I'm with the second marker, and now we can see that there's 8.4 milliseconds between peaks here. Now, I'm actually going to switch to a different display mode. You can, put, you can do that by pushing display and then hitting the right and left arrows. This is kind of useful. Um, it shows you a lot more information here. It's showing uh, that it looks here like I'm getting 2.3 volts uh, ripple in, in the thing, as well as reporting. Uh, so I was wrong before. Um, the, uh, it's 7.4 volts above ground. That's what's reporting there. And it's reporting that I'm getting a, uh, that uh, peak to peak, the uh, signal is 120 hertz. Okay, well, that's pretty useful to know. Now, um, one thing I can do uh, with this scope is I can change the volts per division and the time base. So let me, so I'm, I have it off of auto right now. I'm gonna push the volts per division button and now I can actually basically increase the size of the signal, the size of what my scope is showing me, or decrease it by pushing up and down arrows. And notice that the scales here, the eight volts per division, four volts per division, they're changing depending on how big the signal it is. I can do the same thing uh, with time by going left and right. Put more things on the screen at once or less things on the screen at once, which is very useful when I want to look at a signal. Now let me show you one other cool thing, which is I can actually push memory here. Now it's going to hold uh, what's on the screen. That's very useful because I can actually take, take my scope off now, and power my circuit, do whatever else I want, and it's maintaining that signal in its memory. 
this is very useful because not only does it hold the signal that's on the screen, but if I push XY position, I can now scroll through the signal through time. I can look at much more signal than that was on the screen to begin with. This is very useful if you have a microcontroller or something where you want to look at the bits coming out of the uh, output pin. Okay, that's the basics of uh, oscilloscopes. I'll see you next time.